What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys cvc personal rewards we are not doing so great usually on the second day i'm like 200 plus nowhere near it um, and we want to win cvc and of course we want to get these personal rewards as well they're too good to pass up but we're low on resources if we come look at my books last CVC personal rewards, you know, we're back to back and we're low. We're low on resources and I want to save these books for the next CVC. So I feel like the only choice is we're going to have to pull soul stones. I think this is three months worth of saving. Um, and like yesterday, I had 78 mortal soul stones, went to the soul merchant, not soul merchant, mystic market and had like a hundred mortal soul stones. I don't know how that happened, but. It's definitely helped me out. We, we, we need it. Um, but yeah, and then we've got seven immortal soul stones. And then for eternal soul stones, zip, nudder, nothing. I don't know what's going on with that. I think, you know, I pull probably every three months quarterly. We are playing this game on a quarterly basis. I mean, it's a bit of a joke, really. You know, you, you'll give us sacreds, but you won't give us eternal soul stones. I don't get it. But yeah, that definitely player need to up their game so let's go for it boys um so many champions i need to awaken on the account i still absolutely hate the system this is probably the best time to pull though you know that chance double chance to get um like a six star is huge and if we look at um like the tournaments and events legendary okay rough and tab don't have Noble, I don't have, but they're both one star. So pr three legendaries, four. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Astrolith, I already have her. For, I was lucky enough to pull five stars on her. She's actually one of my favorite uh, champions. Just so underrated. Great, like still a beast for arena and really good for um, PvE content as well. Virgum Car trash just one of the worst fusions of all time um but yeah so normally when you pull soul stones the events and tournaments are awful another legendary eurofrost too uh you know eurofrost pretty much the only way to like beat scarab really easily really comfortably and don't have to use a lot of resources he's probably the best option for that but for events and tournaments um pulling soul stones another legendary Oh, Eurostrid. So um, I actually skipped that fusion. But um, yeah, she's pretty decent though, to be fair. She's meant to be pretty good. But yeah, gave her a hard skip. But um, yeah, basically, if you pull soul stones during tournaments and events, there's really good stuff up for grabs, but it's really unlikely you're going to get it. Um, Just because, like, like I said, I'm pulling on like a three-month basis, quarterly, and... I still don't get like the legendary books or whatever else is up for grabs. So it, it sucks. It sucks for free to play. Another Rathmatab. Plarium, you can go do one. Oh, come on. Give us something juicy. Another legendary. I mean, we're having some insane luck today with the legendaries. Whisper. Whisper, I would definitely want some more um like high awakenings for her king garog um absolutely trash i don't think anyone uses him anywhere but yeah whisper definitely need her for hydra so trying to get as much as i can out of her not hit that six star yet no horn i mean he can break him off the list to be honest um was just using him for Shogun. Legendary. <laughs> Another one star. Four star seer. Nice. That is actually pretty decent. Uh, I think my seer is above that now. Um, maybe not though. I'll have to see. Have to see. But that might be an upgrade. Like, And that's huge actually. Because should we get crit damage as well? Four star blessings is like the best. Because that's where you hit that crit damage. 
Whisper, three star, nice. I think that will be an upgrade for me as well. Big Legendary, Supreme Aethel, three star. I don't have a. <laughs> I mean, I still feel like they need to rework the Awakening system. It is just, it is just outrageous how long it takes to six star, like fully awaken a champion just takes forever. It's just disgusting. Another legendary Morley one star. I mean, absolutely love Morley. Great for Hydra. Still pretty good for Arena as well. Another legendary Arix. Nice four star. That is a huge upgrade for me. Um, Arix, great PvP champion. Um, I think everyone slept on her for a long time. Turns out she's an absolute beast. Really good with like go second tanky teams. Needs a bit of survivability. Whole string. I don't have. Um, yeah, I think pretty niche um, champion, but still okay. All right, guys. I need to make some space. I'll be back in a sec. And we're back. So 48 and 7 to go. Uh, we've not pulled any mythicals yet either, which is interesting. There was definitely something going on when they first released mythicals where it was like non-stop. Fortus, absolute trash. Um, but yeah, there was like something going on where we couldn't, all I could do was pull mythicals. And now, now I can't get any. Very interesting. Another Eurost. Another legendary Bellatar. Mythical. Oh, Galaptimus. Don't have him. Probably will never get him. And Norog. I don't have Norog. That's a pretty solid pull. Come on, give us something juicy. Um, I did check on the account. So actually, um, Whisper, Seer, both got buffs and Arex as well, which is pretty insane. Um, whoa, that's 11,000 points just off that. Crazy. Come on. Another legendary, another, another one star Molly. Oh. Man, just so frustrating. Just feel like we're getting nothing. All right, seven of these to go. Actually, I don't think we got a six star either. Even though I know I know it's a low percent, 1.5, but 177, we should have got probably two. Um, maybe they're like rares or epics or something I, I didn't see, but terrible rates. Immortal Soul Stone, do you know what? Should we? Shouldn't we? How many have we got? So I could buy some Soul Stones. Let's just see how we're doing for CVC. Uh, you know, you shouldn't be doing this. It is a bit naughty. What? Do we barely get any points for pulling Soul Stones? Wow. Jeez, I'm really gonna have to put in the work, guys. But okay, well, when in when in doubt, let's just do it. Let's just do it. And I want to do sorry. I want to do a ten pull. Let's make that a nice round number. All right, ten immortal soul stones. Come on, boys. Let's get something big. So a law. Still one of the OGs. Um, great for old school Fire Knight. Nice legendary. Come on. Cardiel. Oh, I don't have him on the account. Um, but he's like an absolute beast. Great for like PvE content. Great for Hydra. Great for Fire Knight. But also really good for PvP as well. Corridan. That is huge. That is a big pull. Um, I'm going to be using, oh, I use him already in finite and definitely going to be putting in, what is it called? Like one touch. Um, can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's the one where you get like an extra hit. What is it called? Phantom touch, phantom touch. Yeah, definitely would take phantom touch just to get that extra hit on the finite. Um, but yeah. That is seriously disappointing. I can't remember 
were we, was it like 120? So we've gone from 120, 70k points. It's not like massive. I thought it was going to be way more than that, considering how much we actually pulled. Um, but yeah, absolutely shocking. Saying that though, very happy with some of the upgrades we got. Um, Nia, oh, I thought I got six star for her. All right. But yeah, upgrade for Nia, upgrade for Sit, like big upgrades for Sit as well. I mean, Corridan, oh, I need to make sure that's the right one. I think, I think that is the right one. Yeah, let's just go for it. It's a gala, uh, only two star. But yeah, we did get some big upgrades on the account with um, Seer and Whisper. So yeah, looking forward to sort of testing them out, seeing the difference that's going to make. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheek thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.